So as we begin, I'm also just coming down, lying on my back. And just have a moment of here feeling like which points of the body are on the ground. And see how your belly is feeling, see how your back is feeling, maybe your feet is on the ground and have your knees bent uh, at the beginning. And we're going to start with this, uh, in a way, aim of increasing the awareness of the body by tightening everything. So I would invite you to join me, bring your hands uh, uh, to a, like a fist position and then squeeze everything really like squeeze your hands, squeeze your feet, legs, your face, even squeeze, 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 squeeze and release. We're going to do this two more times to just like in increase intensity of awareness of the body. Tighten everything, squeeze, hold your breath even, you can lift your feet if, a little bit if you like, squeeze your belly, legs, face arms, abdomen, ah, release. Just do that one more time, squeezing, tightening everything, squeeze, 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 release and let go. Allow your hands to be on your abdomen. You can open your fingers if you like. And turn your attention inward, your eyes may be closed, maybe not, it's okay. And invite the breath to be a little bit deeper now, towards the belly. If it's not there, if you're feeling your breath just on your chest, allow it to go deeper down towards the belly. Big, nice, long breaths. Intentionally, we're working with the breath now. And exhaling. Two more times, very intentional, deep, long breaths. And exhale. And notice how the belly is uh, like swelling right under your hands as you breathe in. And exhale. Now we're going to start moving. Straighten your legs and then take your arms up overhead. Come into like a full body stretch for a moment. Str arms reaching back, feet away from the hands. Feel your long body. And exhale, release for a moment. You're not stretching for the moment, but now you can uh, interlace your hands and then have the hands above the head, overhead. And then we're gonna move both feet and uh, hands to the same side. So it's gonna be like a C shape or like a banana stretch. So take both feet towards your left and then have your hands interlaced and then take them up overhead as you are stretching the side body while at the same time almost like reaching away with the hands, your hands, palms may be facing towards the head as well. And exhale, bring the feet to the, and hands to the center and then to the other side, another like banana shape or like a little bit of a C shape, stretching the side body. And then inhaling back to center and now gently draw your feet, your knees rather, towards your chest. Take a few moments to rock side to side. And as you are doing that, just becoming aware of your hands now on your knees. And now take your hands on the shin bones, but start to move your ankles. So you're circling the ankles to activate the joints. A lot of times these joint movements are gonna, as you can imagine, really help with the circulation in the joints and reverse the direction to the other side. Joint health is like one of the key things for overall kind of um, stronger body as we grow older. Now change the movement. So one uh, ankle is moving in one direction. The other one is like they're opening out towards the sides. So you can open a little bit the space between your knees. 
And then the other way, the other side, changing the direction. So I don't know your own body, so please, anything that I'm guiding, you know your body best. So stay very connected with your body and then adjust things or modify or do something else if you would like to. Now feel, bring your hands back onto the knees and we're going to do something almost like for the knees. Just straighten and then bend. Straighten and then bend a few of those first. And straighten one more time. Just hold it here, maybe a little bit like push the heels away. A little bit of a stretch for your back legs. And then bend them again. This time circling, your hands are on the kneecaps. And you're going to be activating both the knees and then the hip joints. So circling the knees outward. Or your hands on the knees and you're circling uh, more like the hip joint and reverse the direction now from inside out or like from the lower part out to the side and to the uh, other side again and slow it down and just drop your feet again uh, down onto the ground and move a little bit towards your hands. So bringing the attention to your wrists and circle the wrists now. We're just starting with like all of the main joints, activating, lubricating the joints, reverse the direction. Mostly focusing on the wrists. And now moving on to the elbows. So circle, you're making almost like the same type of a circular uh, movement with your elbows. And then change the direction. And just come into like almost like a still here, but keep reaching with your hands. Uh, towards the back. and take your uh, hands onto the knees and bring the legs also up towards the sky as well. They don't have to be straight or anything, but just like shake now everything. Shake, shake, shake a little bit. Both like legs and arms moving. We're increasing the circulation all around. If it makes sense, you can even like move your shoulders a little bit like here, up and down, up and down kind of a thing one side at a time and then just shake one more time everything and then drop everything down allow your eyes to close breathe in breathe out just notice the sensations maybe tingling maybe kind of like small sensations here and there or maybe you're more aware of the limbs and the body and now straighten your legs one more time. First, become aware of or bring your hands uh, on your lower, ba lower belly here and become aware of this area between the hip bones. So we're going to be working on this transverse abdominal muscles here at the beginning. And then we're going to incorporate the inner legs and everything else. And for a moment, Become aware of this, uh, a little bit of curve in your low back as well. Right now you have that curve. And bend the knees again, one more time. Just working with this curve in your low back and then flattening it as uh, in coordination with your breath. So inhale here, you're feeling the curve in your low back. And then exhaling, press the low back down and engage this area so you're kind of squeezing and when you squeeze you'll feel almost these hip bones are coming closer towards each other they're not going to move but the idea is to really activate this whole area so you're becoming more aware and by the way into that activation engage even the perineum so everything is kind of like tightening in and release. Do that one more time. And you can also imagine there's almost like a center here in your lower belly. And there is something like at the really midpoint and you're kind of squeezing everything around that midpoint. Let's do that one more time. So inhaling, releasing everything. 
and exhaling, squeezing everything tight, including perineum, pelvic floor, so everything around the pelvis is active. And release, just let go, feel, maybe you're starting to feel more your low back area or, or everything else. And straighten the legs one more time. This time we're going to be doing something to activate this uh, lower belly area, this transverse abdominus muscles, even like without movement. <laughs> so this is kind of an interesting core strengthening move that can be done anytime. So have your hands here. Right now there's no engagement, uh, but we're going to do something almost like an imaginary move. Um, so when, you, when we move, when we walk, for example, uh, our lower belly area, this muscle is going to be activated, but we, we do it without really being aware. So we're going to be doing something like walking, but not walking. So have your hands in between, again, this uh, hip bones and bring your attention to your right leg and engage all the muscles of your right leg. And imagine now you're going to be moving almost like taking a step with your right foot and notice the right side of your abdomen is kind of like tightening in, right? These muscles start to get engaged. So imagine, activate for first the leg and then imagine you're going to be lifting your leg. And if you want to be real and then you can also do that, just like lift the leg, maybe one inch or two inches off the ground and notice how the uh, lower belly got really like, oh my God, I feel it's so tight. And then release. You can also feel the obliques, the side uh, of the uh, abdomen is getting active. And then move to the left side. Again, your hands are in between, just observing the change or engagement that happens in your lower belly. And then again, activate the leg muscles. And then imagine you're going to be lifting the leg and then lift it just one inch and then stay there and then feel like how tight your lower belly muscles get. And release. So we're going to do the same thing one more time. Moving the um, attention to the right side, engage the leg, and then lift it just one inch up off the floor. Leg is straight. You're pushing the heel away. And release. Moving to the left, engaging the leg muscles, and then lifting it up. Noticing the activation in your belly. Ah, release everything, let go. Let your uh, feet now kind of splay out open to the side. Breathe in, breathe out. We're almost like preparing this whole area to get more active as we're um, aiming to a little bit of like strengthening the core, uh, including the lower belly and then inner legs. So for the next one, bring your feet very close to your hips now. So they're not like reaching uh, away from you, but they're very close. And with your hands, you can almost like touch to your heels here. Bring your hands on again to the same area, this lower belly. And now engage your lower belly first. So activate these muscles. You're going to see a little bit of like flattening on your low back and then lift both feet maybe big toes still on the ground but if you can lift both feet up off the ground but just like one inch maybe two so feel the whole activation again happening in your low uh, belly area notice it becomes almost like concrete and don't have any judgments if you have more like flesh in this area but just like feel this like very active muscles of um, abdomen and release and just to kind of let go and relax maybe all the muscles draw your knees towards your chest and give yourself a break and just like rock side to side for a few moments and we're going to be doing one more to again activate everything but this time incorporating the inner legs as well so for this one have your hands on your knees again. Circle the uh, ankles if you like. But slowly start to bring the lower legs parallel to the ground. 
you're gonna feel a lot of engagement again in the abdomen and then low back is getting almost like flatter. You can still try to maintain a little bit of curve, but you're gonna feel everything gets kind of active here. And now have your hands on the sides of your knees and slowly it's gonna be an isometric move, which means the legs are pushing against the hand, hand is pushing against uh, the knee. So there's not much happening, but there is a lot also happening. So have this sense of, if you wanna lift your legs, uh, your head rather, you can do that too, but otherwise your head can stay on the ground and then start to push your hands to the knees, knees out towards the hands. And notice like everything in your lower part of the body, including the upper part maybe, if you wanna add the head lift a little bit, start to just gaze up towards the sky though. Don't kind of round the uh, neck or anything. Uh, release, just take a moment again to breathe. Big, nice breaths. Feel how easeful it feels after all this kind of engagement. And one more round before we release this hardcore core work. Um, for this one, we're gonna have the hands in between the knees, but hands are gonna be in like a fist position. So again, bring the knees ideally really kind of up straight, 90 degrees uh, to the floor and then lower legs uh, parallel to the ground and have your hands in a fist between the knees. And when we start to engage for the moment, now starting to squeeze the, the hands together while the hands are pushing the knees away, you will feel your head almost like wants to come up. If, if it feels uh, okay with your uh, neck, you can do that. Otherwise, head is on the ground. And so you're pushing the knees away. And breathing while the knees are pushing towards the hands. And do that maybe just for one more breath. And exhale, release, let go. Feel the breath again, feel the ease. That comes almost like out of hard work. And just taking a moment now, to open your knees out to the side for a moment and maybe bringing the hands uh, again interlaced if you like under your head just taking a moment to release all the uh, muscles that got really active around the uh, lower belly inner legs and release so from here we're gonna be slowly very slowly coming up but one more thing so turn to your side for this one. One more thing, focusing on inner legs a little bit. And then we're gonna move to, to be uh, a little bit more active. So for this one, have one leg bent here and then the leg that's, I guess, closer to the ground is straight and have the toes flexed. So, uh, and we're gonna be starting and we're going to be focusing on this uh, extended leg mostly, starting slow and then it's going to slowly change. The other leg is on the ground, so have your foot relaxed there. And your position, it can be all the way on the ground, but if you want to be a bit more active, come on to your elbow here, assuming that your shoulder is happy to be in this position, otherwise really just stay on the ground. But Pay attention to this uh, position. Are you kind of sagging down like almost you, you want to come down? If so, just come down or stay down. But otherwise, if you are in this position, have a sense of like uplift coming in so that this whole side of the torso, like from inside out, is active too. And then starting very simply, lifting the leg up and then down. But we're doing this in two counts. One, two one two one two one two and your belly is activated here and you're probably feeling your inner thigh is also active and we're doing in two counts up and down up and down and then 
we're gonna change this into just one count a little bit kind of faster but you can go slow if you like if you want to feel more and you may be feeling like your leg is kind of starting to feel active and in addition to inner legs for this leg you may be feeling a little bit of the glutes for the bent knee as well so everything around this corset in a way the core is active and then we're going to change this and then see what comes and then how you feel. So stay here somewhere in the middle, maybe a little bit on the higher side. Straighten the uh, toes and start to curl, like make a circle here. Toes are pointing and you're circling. Notice how things start to change. Maybe you're thinking, oh my God, I won't be able to continue or this is getting too much. Just notice the inner conversation. Reverse the circle, move to the other side. You guys are doing great. Just do a few more. Feel this whole engagement, this whole area, uh, inner leg, how active it got, right? And now just hold it there again, flex the toes and just simple like pulse, 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 like tiny, teeny movement there. Feel all uh, inner leg active. And then release. And you can come down, like drop yourself down, take a few moments to really maybe move your uh, legs side to side. I'm just gonna, you can stay on the same position and then turn to the other side. I'm just turning this way. To face the camera so really take a break and even feel the difference one side that we have worked may feel completely different and then moving to the other side again you choose if you want to stay here and then move or maybe lift it but in a like uplifted holding of the body here and then the same thing, your foot is on the ground, one hand can be in the middle, kind of supporting you. And then we're starting with two count uh, lifts of the leg. One, two, one, two. We're doing each of those about 10, but maybe a bit less. But if you are doing it on your own, you can try to do at least eight. 10 is kind of a round number, which could be easy to remember in terms of the number of uh, repetitions. Up, down, up, down. Toes are flexed. And then slowly doing it one count, up and down, up and down. And notice your belly has to be active for you to be able to continue. So notice all this engagement in the entire abdomen area and then pelvis. Do that two more times, just one count lifts. And you may be feeling, now point the toes and then start to circle. You may be feeling more tired on this side because you're already tired probably. <laughs> this side may feel kind of harder. Circle, circle, circle. Reverse the direction, circle the other way. And just a few more. Become aware of the inner conversation. And then just hold it there. Again, flex the toes and tiny, teeny pulses, pulses, pulses. Feel your whole engagement of the inner leg. And hold it there and then drop it down. Again, come down all the way on your back for a moment. And just take a few moments to, to really almost like enjoy this. Oh my God, I, I'm kind of working hard or whatever uh, the inner conversation is. And almost like congratulate yourself saying something like, oh, that was a great job or something that's just to encourage to stay connected with your whole being. Breathing in, breathing out. 
And then take a moment here, actually, before we come up, even to, again, prepare maybe the uh, lower body joints. Have your feet flat, but uh, almost like mat width apart. And then drop the knees to one side and then to the other side. Almost preparing the body. Now we're kind of uh, coming into the stretches for the uh, long muscles. And dropping one side and then the other. And then slowly, next time when you come to one side, doesn't matter which side, just drop both knees onto side and start to turn yourself towards that side. Bring one hand on the ground, straighten the upper leg. And then slowly come up into a seated position. And then from here, find a tabletop. So adjust your position. As you come into this tabletop position, if you want to drink, if you want to take a sip from your water or so, please do that too. So coming now on to tabletop position, your hands, your wrists are right under the shoulders. If you need support for your hands or for you can make a fist with your hands or maybe fold the mat and then have them at the base on the base of uh, your uh, palms or the other option could be sometimes uh, if you have yoga blocks handy, you can have the blocks and then have your lower arms on, on the blocks as well. So several options to make sure that you can do as we are moving now on to the spine itself which was um, uh, not that active maybe so far so starting whichever option you choose uh, to do comfortably inhaling dropping the belly down gazing a little bit up towards the sky exhaling rounding the spine inhaling tailbone up exhaling tailbone goes down and under Go a few more rounds like that, coordinating everything with your own breath. And if you want to add the uh, engagement of your abdominal muscles or, or your whole pelvic floor again, you can do that. Inhaling, releasing everything, exhaling, squeezing in abdomen, pelvic floor, glutes at the back, exhaling. Exhaling. One last time. Inhale. Exhale. And then slowly release. Come back to a neutral position. And then we're going to do a few rounds of lunges here. So bring the blocks uh, at the front and step forward with one leg. If you don't have any yoga blocks, you could use water bottles or cans of food to have something under your hands if you like. I'm gonna use the blocks here because it just makes everything easy. And you can have the height of the blocks maybe in the lowest or maybe highest, it's up to you. I'm gonna go with the uh, middle uh, height position. And just a few rounds of uh, stretches. So we're kind of activating now the big uh, long muscles of the legs. So when you uh, exhale, so when you inhale, let's do it with the inhalation, you are in the lunge position here. And when you exhale, you're straightening the leg, coming into a hamstring stretch. Inhaling. And exhaling. Inhaling one more time here. Exhale. And next time when you inhale and come into the lunge, stay here, bring your hands, maybe one hand and then the other one onto the thigh. If you have, or if you wanna support your knees, by the way, you can always have something under your knee as well. So I'm just putting a blanket under my knee so that the knee is gonna feel a little bit more kind of cushioned here. And then as you lift up here, so finding now like the spine is upright, and then bring your hands in your lower back. So we worked a lot on the like front, or it seems like we worked a lot on, on the front, but the back of the body is also key. 
in Chinese medicine, um, this part of the body holds like the main vitality center of the body, the kidney area basically. And I start to massage this area. You are activating, this is called door of life, gate of life. And just activate this area, almost like warming it up. It gets cold and especially today, it was so cold. We had to turn on the heater, I couldn't believe. But so just warming this up, door of life, door of, uh, gate of life. You can also just do like uh, light tapping into this area. And then slowly release that. And then bring the hands back onto the blocks. As we are gonna move to the hamstring stretch now, feel free to maybe have the uh, blocks in higher position and straighten your legs. If you don't have any blocks, just pay attention to have your leg as straight as possible. It's not gonna be fully straight, maybe it's okay. But pay attention now the back muscles, the hamstrings, how they are stretching now. So with or without the blocks, have the, uh, in this, while the lower body, let's say one side at least, is stretching, have the upper part of the body also a bit, almost like stretching. So we're not rounding the spine as much as possible. Have a sense of like reaching your chin almost like away or you're reaching towards the front with your chest and paying attention to the sensations. Oh my God, my right side or left side, whichever side you are doing, maybe hamstrings are feeling tight today. And then slowly release, bend the knee again, and then take your knees together. So if you are like that, maybe you are in a, a tabletop position again, and then move to the other side. So same thing, taking a few moments to move first, and then we're gonna hold. Uh, so have position yourself with or without the blocks. And then start to move, inhaling here in the lunge, exhaling, leg straightening. Just a few more. Feel how you are activating now the muscles and then the big um, joints of the hips are moving. We're increasing circulation of blood in the area, which will help with like keeping things a bit more hydrated. Because as we age, the, we, we get drier, <laughs> as we all know. And also the synovial fluid in the joints, actually, that also almost like gets dry. And the, uh, the gland kind of a thing, the tissue that secretes, that likes to be moved, especially like in circular direction or repetitive moves. So that it will start to slowly like work again. Remember that uh, things uh, are still continuing. So this repetitive moves are really great for the joints. And next time when you come to the lunge, again, slowly preparing yourself, one hand maybe, and then the other one to come up. And then this time, if you like, if you wanna do something else, you just stay here, maybe arms in cactus position. Or if you wanna do one more time, this door of life activation, if it feels comfortable, accessible for you. And notice when you are in this position too, you are almost like activating your abdomen, both feet are engaged. So you're pressing with one uh, front one, but the back one is also active so that you're able to keep yourself upright. And just a little bit more of like warming up, waking up or opening maybe the door of life for the day, for the week. And release and then finding the hamstring stretch now as you straighten the leg, adjusting the position of the blocks as per your needs if you are using any. And taking a few moments to feel. They say it takes about 90 seconds for a good stretch to really happen. So just taking a few moments and I know it may not feel exactly comfortable. Sometimes playing with the position of your foot could be a way if you bring them closer to the ground, it may feel maybe easier. 
If you lift, maybe it's going to feel intense. So find a medium ground in a way that's going to work for you to hold it just for a few moments. And then slowly bend the knee again and change the position of the blocks. And then slowly we're going to uh, come up from here. So bring your hands back and just take a few moments to feel your curled toes here. So you're kind of intentionally opening the uh, bottoms of your feet and notice sometimes it may not feel very comfortable but slowly uh, bring your hands onto the ground closer towards your knees and then take the knees up off open the knees out to the sides just moving a little bit here if you like in this uh, low squat position which can be hard to do sometimes as we grow older and then if you have blocks, especially in front of you, you can maybe use the blocks again or otherwise slowly start to come into like a bent knee position. Maybe you're using the blocks or otherwise your hands are on, on, the, uh, on your thighs and just stay here. But while you are here, engage your abdomen. A lot of times this is like one of the key things that we can do actually like during the day when we come down to pick something uh, from the ground or like standing down to the ground. Anytime when you come down, engage your abdomen. Just remember that. And then here now, I'm just turning this way. Lift one heel and then the other one. And again, this is to activate the whole leg joints. And then come into a stillness here, or your feet are completely flat on the ground. Notice your legs are very active. The torso is almost like a flat, not rounded. So staying from here in this position, slowly engage your legs fully. And then open the arms out to the side. And then when you are ready, slowly pressing your feet down, inhaling, lifting up. Making a circle with the hands as you bring them up. As you exhale, bring them to the sides. Just soften the knees a little bit, cross the hands in front. Inhale, reach up high. Exhale. And one last time here, as you inhale, open the arms out to the side, but just hold them here, reaching up, maybe in a big V, Maybe they're closer towards each other. Keep the shoulders down and away. And if you want to add a little bit of a challenge, if you like, maybe come lift your heels. Notice maybe the balance is going to be like, oh my God, this is not easy. Or your, your feet can also be on the ground. Just keep your arms, maybe like whichever position you are choosing, they're a little bit higher. Start to feel the sensations in your hands. Maybe just like move your fingers a little bit. And then slowly turn the palms out towards the side. If you like, it's an invitation to close your eyes and start to follow your hands and fingers as they're making a big circle around, slow circle, hands moving. And you complete the circle as you bring the hands in front of the belly, and then in front of the chest, let the hands, palms to touch each other. And become aware of the sensations between your hands. And feel the breath. And feel your present moment awareness of your whole body. From your feet, all the way up through the legs, your torso. Feel your stronger body and your connection in a kind and nice way. Maybe in a sense saying like, oh, my dear body, you're so precious for me. I'm just doing my best to take good care of you. <laughs> 